Hello and welcome to Therapy with a Psychopath. I'm Bob. And I'm Oz. And when we are both psychopaths, we will be spending the next half hour to an hour talking about anything from science to anime to history. And sex. Sure. This is our form of therapy and we hope that you enjoy the insanity. How's your week, Bob? Oh, I'm Bob. You're Oz. I <laughs> am your- Oz, Bob. <laughs> oh my god. How's your week, Oz? My week was fantastic. I had so much fun. What was the fun? The midterms. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, I got I got one back, and it was not pretty. We both had ours. Back. Oh yeah, we both had ours back. <laughs> Apparently, I'm smarter than Bob. <laughs> right? I don't know how that is. How'd you get like? But it was like one point higher than me, <laughs> which is worth a lot in that class. <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's like you got a D and I got an F. <laughs> we've decided that I'm going to tutor Bob. Huh? I we've decided that I'm going to tutor Bob. For $100 an hour. No, we never decided that. Uh-huh. No. Let the people of the internet decide. The, they're not going to decide anything. I'm going to... You're going to give me free tutoring, and I get to feed you. As long as I get fa- sexual favors. No. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, Listen. remember how yesterday we were looking at that? <laughs> okay, we got bored yesterday. No, don't tell them this. I'm telling them this. Oh, my God. This is horrible. We got bored yesterday. We on did. this ride from the home, from the bus, waiting for the bus to take us to the train station to go home. Okay. And, and oh, I was like, God, fuck. me so horny. And he said, oh, you've been to those Asian <laughs> spa, uh, spa parlors? I'm like, I didn't say that. <laughs> get out of here. What Asian spa parlors? And he started showing me on this phone. Oh, if you could. I, okay, listen. You're, you're, you're fucking up the whole thing. You're making me look bad. No, listen. We were talking about the. We, we got onto the topic of the sex worker thing that we, were, that we discussed, like, for some reason, multiple times a week. Escort service. If you would like to. Ha- if you have a cheap escort service, please give us a call so that we can have you on our podcast. Oh, my God, no. Uh, so we were talking about the the services, and I said, uh, you look at the Asian um, mas- massage parlors, and if they're like, they're usually, if they're open after 12 a.m., 12 a.m. at midnight, then they're probably doing the, you know, the extra services. Happy endings. Yeah. And maybe more than that. Yeah. They do more than that? Yeah, they do more than that, bro. I'm not telling you every day. <laughs> they do a lot more, bro. It's like it's like actual prostitution, bro. It's crazy. Me so horny. Oh my god, don't don't. <laughs> you have to go to school after this. So? So? <laughs> it takes it takes a long time. And it takes 3 seconds in the bathroom. Yeah, no, but they they you have to spend an hour over there. You don't get it. 3 seconds in the bathroom. Not my bathroom. You remember? I made you promise you weren't going to do it in my bathroom. What? Did you ever get that in, on recording? I did. I did, actually. I, okay, so while I go to your bathroom to take a mm-hmm. shit. Shit. Oh, quote, unquote. Shit, shit, oh, shit, oh, quote, unquote, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'll go to the bathroom. All right. I'll you, finish by the time you look it up. Oh, my God, you fucking dick. Everybody loves endless shrimp. Mm. Endless shrimp. Oh, my God. We're, we're not going back to this. You, we were, what was your... We, you were talking about the parlors. Oh, yeah. Yes, the sex parlors. Yeah, so after, after 12 o'clock, they usually do it. And uh, if they say table showers, because table showers, they like, they like clean you or something. It's easier to clean you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And themselves, because they get the jizz on their hands. Yeah, and, ev- and everywhere. <laughs> so uh, that's, we were searching that up and we were searching. There was apparently so many in our area. It's insane. There was one for 24 hours open. That was actually insane to like see. I feel like these are, these like places are probably like. Uh, stalked by the police or something. My no, no, no. My question is that Google could. How, but, wait, I'm I'm wondering how do the police not know of these places? Let's be honest for a second. The police gets bribed a lot. Uh huh. The, these places make a lot of money. Right. You could pay off some cops, especially the precinct. Yeah, but like any cop could just do a Google search and be. That's the most funny thing. We went on the reviews to see like what was this place about. One guy started second sexual favors. This is the place for prostitutes. This and this and that. Literally, <laughs> the cops are not doing their research. <laughs> no, Google AI cannot distinguish these. Uh huh. They're posted on Google reviews. Right. So basically, Google can do a uh, search AI for the, Google could create bots to search for particular words. Mm hmm. Group together. Yeah. And then you could do a red flag, send it to police or whatever. (laughs) Now, here's the thing. (coughs) You could do that for any place. So I could see where the problem would lie of searching up in Google. But, like, you'd have a list of potential places to go. (coughs) But then if you search up Google reviews, you would see, like, oh, okay, at this 
you could like ruin a place of business by saying, "Oh, this has a sex wor- sex workers here." Yes, that's why you need to do an investigation. Yeah. yeah. So I, I see the problems and I see the issues that that may result from it, but like if you just use it as a potential list, they can't they just find the places and like shut them down. Exactly. But here's some one thing, one uh-huh. thing that pisses me off. Okay, I'm um, if you're a prostitute, yes. willingly, yes, nothing wrong with that. Honestly, that's between you and whatever. Yeah, I, I can see that. But oh. these places probably they're they're unwilling. Sex traffickers. Yes. That kidnap women. <laughs> Put them in the basements, mm-hmm. and then you know they're raped every day. Right. That's a different story, right? That's a terrible story. That's where you got to draw the line. So that's why the, I obviously we're never going to go to these places. Yes, because they're they, half of them are probably like the sex trafficking. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Because that, that would be that. that'd be really bad. It would be re- no, no, not even that. We got to call the cops right away. Yeah, but the point that I'm trying to make is that when you for. The reason why they're probably not cracking on them is because you, in order to have sex tra- uh, trafficking, you need to have a sex trafficking ring. Yes. If you shut one down, another one will be open and you already lose the place that had the connection. Mm-hmm. So they keep it open so that way they can have a connection to the real tra- uh, sex trafficker ring. Oh, so they can like see like where like the rabbit hole goes. Where the rabbit hole goes. Oh, okay. Now, what if it's not a sex trafficking ring? It's just like, what do you, what do you think of the prostitution laws? Social laws? Yeah, yeah, how it's like all illegal and everything. I mean, I don't even care about that. That's between you and God. For me personally, that's between you and God. Yeah. Should we outlaw it? And people are going to do it anyway. Might as well make it legal, make sure everyone's healthy. Yeah. In my personal opinion. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Like, if you're a registered sex worker, mm-hmm. and then you could get the health... If you have a license and you could get the health care, you could get tests for HIS, STDs. You could get the proper medication in order to... So that you don't get the STDs, because they do have pills to yeah. repel a lot of STDs. Mm-hmm. And they can make it... You know, there are different programs that could be set up. Right. You could charge taxes. Yeah. And then the income will come... And then the tax incomes will come from that. Maybe the MTA could actually fix itself. <laughs> right? Oh my god, the MTA is just so just, fucked up. Just like how the Uber charges two point five dollars. Yeah. For every uh, ride. Right. What about if prostitutes hire like a twenty dollar <laughs> base that goes directly to the government? Oh, the, imagine there'd be so much money. There'd be so much money. So much money, like they're just making the weed illegal in weed legal in California and what was that uh, other state? I Colorado forgot. already. Colorado. Did it. Yeah, yeah, Colorado and California. But Colorado already did it. It's legal in Colorado. Yeah, yeah, both of those states. Oh, it's legal in California now. Yeah, it's been legal for a while. Cool. Right. Yeah. So those two states have been ga- getting massive like tax revenue from the from the what you call it weed weed business. Yeah. Imagine the prostitution business. Imagine. Just imagine. Can you imagine how much money this country would be making? We could make the schools a lot better. Yeah. Imagine a teacher will come and say to her kids, well, we could thank all the prostitutes for allowing us to get money for our school funding. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's Billy, I thank your mom personally. Oh, shit. That's like, can you imagine? I would say to Bob, Bob, we need to get into this business. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. That's, that's... And also, if you make it legal, you get rid of pimps. They're th- they're thinking of uh, making it legal in Rhode Island, I think. Good, because listen, you know you know how badly pimps treat yeah. women. They, they, from okay, so I watch the Philip the Pre- the Franco show a lot. The what? Philip the Franco show what is on that? YouTube. Uh, it's like a news news show, but like by from a person, you know. It's not like a, a whole corporation. It's just like an individual who started a company and he's like trying to and he makes the news. He's been making news on YouTube for like ten years now. Okay. And he made a video of uh, how in, uh, I think it was Rhode Island, that had a, a law that uh, outlawed prostitution. But in the law, it didn't specifically say prostitution inside homes or inside places. So it outlawed outside prostitution, but not inside prostitution. So if you have the like a brothel. Yeah, if you had a brothel or a parlor, then you would... Uh, Be legal. Illegal because prostitution is legal in the in like a, in certain cities in America. Yeah, like this is what I always thought um, it was legal in Las Vegas, but apparently it's not. It's not. No, you have to go outside Las Vegas. Yeah, it's very not legal in Las Vegas because that that would literally be Vice City. Then <laughs> we should go to the Japanese red light district in Japan. What the fuck is that? This is a Japanese red light district in Japan. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, but there are laws to go around it. How? 
titty bars. Titty bars? What's that? Basically, girls will come, mm-hmm. sit on your lap. Yes. They'll expose their boobs. Okay. And you can do a motorboat them as much as you want. Then you can it? rub and touch and uh-huh. poke. And poke? <laughs> and no, nothing like past that? There's no, um, there's no, no stick going into a hole. Okay. So that's legal. Really? As long as no stick goes to a hole. Mm-hmm. The same reason how escorts go through, oh, it's whatever happens between two consensual adults. Yeah, that's that's their loophole. That's the loophole. Yeah. Same thing. Like, gambling is illegal in Japan. Right. So the machines are not illegal. Machines? The gambling machines? Yes, they are not illegal. Okay. But how do you collect the money? I don't know. You have to literally get out of the store, go around the corner to this one stall, and then you could trade in the coins for the for the money or prizes. No way. That's crazy. That's some like crazy Loophole. workarounds and loopholes. Oh my god. People are always trying to get around the law. Like I feel like they America should have learned from the prohibition that like pro- prohibiting stuff does not work in this country. Yeah, not at all. It's just smart. Yeah, it only makes like organized crime increases. Yeah, there's a reason why they're called organized crime. Yeah, <laughs> but getting back to that, right? So I say, so I say, we hit one of these parlors and well, see what's all the hubbub about. Listen, bro. The hubbub. I, I'm hubbub? not. I'm not gonna hit one of these parlors up. All I'm gonna say is I got a massage after this, and uh, I, I, we gotta make this like a 30 minute podcast because I got a massage after this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll see. We'll, we'll let you guys know what happens after. <laughs> no. I need to ask you a question. Okay. What is the most... Remember when we started doing shit out of shit? Yes. Okay. Shit out of shit. Shit out of shit? Yes. Okay. I found another man okay. that is incredibly amazing. Oh, no. Who is he? His name is Gottfried Gotz von Berlichingen. Okay. You read that name like a fucking psychopath. Let me see that. He's German. Okay, never mind. That's fucking weird. Gottfried Gotz von Berlich. Ber- I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's really weird. Berlichingen. Gotz. Gotz of the Iron Hand. That's that's his nickname. Okay, so basically, he is known. His nickname is Gotz. 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 And so basically, um, it has the O with the two dots on top. You know the Berserker? Mm-hmm. I think it's based off this guy. Berserk. Yes. Oh, the the manga. Yes. No way. What? When, when, when did he die? Guts. Who's Guts? Oh, shit. Yo. My man stole off history. Read it. Read it. I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, so apparently. I want to know this whole man's history. Shut up. Let me talk. I can't. I'm <laughs> apparently, too excited. he was in an army, right? Okay. He's, he was born into a noble families. And noble families during the... He was born in 1880, and he died in um, 1562. Okay. Okay, he was born around um, 18, uh, 1480 into a noble family of Berlich- Berlichingen and modern day Bannon, whatever, someplace in Germany. Right. He was born into a noble family. And during that time, noble families, when you're not too high up, you're a noble family, you become knights. Yeah, yeah. And so he became part of, out of the armies. Right. Like other noblemen's armies. Okay. And in one war, a cannon shot his arm. Oh, no. So a cannon hit his arm. Yeah. Like the ball, the cannon black. Yeah. And his arm came off. Oh, my God. He said, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Right. Where he battles. And then afterwards, he puts... Sorry. And afterwards, he puts on an iron glove. An, an iron arm. Oh, my God. That's why he's called Guts of the of the Iron Hand. Bro, this is literally Guts. It is. Holy shit. This man has an iron arm? Bro, iron arm. how is... It? Okay. First of all, is it his right arm? Or lose his left arm. Is because I want to know how he jacks off. <laughs> right. Look right? at the design. Oh my god. That was that's legit an iron arm. There's a picture of his iron arm on the internet. And it's like extendable fingers. How does he like extend his fingers if his arm is blown off? I have no idea. Exactly. Is it blown off or is it like completely damaged, that kind of thing? Let's see. He was active. Uh, so. Oh, oh, kind of. What? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read. Uh, but it it looks like it look. I don't know. It looks like a robot arm. Oh, it does. It's an amazing arm. But it doesn't like. I don't know. Okay, I don't so know how the that's possible. And like in the, in the dark ages, he 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 was born in um the ni- 1480s, right? Yes. And so in 1504, mm-hmm. meaning 24 years old. Yeah. Uh-huh, me and you almost. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. 
During the siege of the city of Landshut. Speaking of which, what are you doing for my birthday? <laughs> speaking of which, you're going to have a fun time in the parlor. <laughs> I could do that myself, I right? Not without me. You need me in the room. I know what you like. Listen, who said I haven't been to these parlors already? Because <laughs> two years ago, you had no money. You're dead broke. Yeah, but I have money now. You have money now, not back then. Yeah, but I have money now. Who that's said why, that? you, that's who? why you're going to pay for both of us. Because you're such a nice person. No. <laughs> those places are expensive. Back to the iron, iron, iron both arm. Of us. Okay. Du, du, du. During the siege of the city of Landshut. That's literally the name, Landshut. Landshut, okay. He lost his right arm at the elbow. Okay. When enemy cannon fire forced his sword against him. Oh, forced his sword against him. Forced his sword? Meaning he cut off his own hand arm. Oh my god. Because the cannon hit his, his his Listen, when enemy cannon fired, forced his sword against him. So imagine the sword. Yeah. Oh god. So it kinda it kinda like forced his arm back and like broke it and everything. Yeah, but if it actually hit his hands, right? It would have yeah. been a lot worse. Now yeah. there's a clean cut. Right, I see, I see what you're saying. Oh, what hold else? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. What else? Come on, tell me. More famous prosthetic hand was capable of holding objects from a shield to rain to quo. Both are today on display at Berg uh, J- uh, Jog's Yada Yada Museum or something. It's let at a museum. That. Let me read that. What is it? What can it hold? Oh, uh, let me re- read the whole entire thing. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you. He had two mechanical prosthetic iron replacements made. Okay. The second more famous prosthetic hand was capable of holding objects from a shield. Shield. Terrains. Terrains? To, to quill. Oh, reins. Like the reins of a the horse. horse. To quill. Now, he is a German poet. Oh, a quill? He can hold a pen? He could write with the... What the hell? How was technology back then that far? Because <laughs> you only have to hold... If you hold it in certain positions, you're good. Because mm-hmm. all you have to do was... Then, then move then. it back and forth and everything. Yeah, yeah I see. Right to left. Like if I hold my pen like this, mm. and I could go. And nobody can see what you're doing right now. If I'm he, trying to write an I. Yeah. Okay. He's he's Heart. He's holding his arm in like a steady position and like with a. I, all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. But now, like nobody can fucking see you. <laughs> no, not at all. Now he's famous for something else. What is his he famous legacy? For? Gotz left an autobiography in manuscript from. Uh, Rose Sarch hand shrift. This the text was published in 1731 as the biography of Sir Gotts von Berlichingen and republished later on. Okay, yada yada. Where's the where's the thing? What thing? What are you talking about? Because I was like silent for a good second, like just waiting for you. I know. I'm sorry. Keep, keep talking so I can find out what this is. But I don't know what to talk about. I'll, find something. Well, I'm just interested in this whole Guts thing because like, it really sounds like his name. Guts and Guts. Yes, that's why I love him. But he was a poet. How the he, fuck did you find this person? How I find everybody. Yeah. I funny. I funny? I funny talks about these people. Really? Yes. Did they mention how Guts and Guts are the same thing? Yes. Okay. His name became famous at a, euf- a euphemism. Can you please tell the audience what a euphemism is? Euphemism? You mean like the... A euphemism is euphemism. an innocence word or expression used in place of one that may be found offensive or suggest something unpleasant. Or something dirty. Hey. Is an inconsistent word. Okay. So it's like family planning, right? Instead of birth control pills. What? Like you could say family family planning for okay. condoms and birth control pills. Oh, okay. Feminine hygiene. That's weird. Feminine protection. Okay. Sanitary protection. Okay. Right? He didn't care about them. He used a very vulgar expression. What? In his autobiography. And he's known for this. What? Our economist, I'm Arsch Lecken. Are you speaking German right now? That's Don't do that. What is? What does it actually say? He can lick my ass. <laughs> so this guy was very uh, vulgar. Very. Very. Just like Guts. Attributed, okay, he wrote this vulgar pro- expression attrib- attributed to him by writer and poet Joanne Wolfgang, Wolfgang von Goethe. Bro, I don't know who the wrote fuck you're a play saying. based on his life. Really? Yes. A play based on his life. A play based on his life. All right, we have to search up what Guts is based off of because this sounds eerily too, too close. He only has a leg. Wait, what? didn't Guts also lose a leg? 
Uh, I think so. And an eye, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he lost an eye. He lost an eye. Uh, and while he's looking for that stuff, I would like everyone to have a minute of peace listening to my amazing beard on the microphone. No, don't do that. Please, please, please stop. Look, stop. Look. No, no, no. Okay, stop, fine. stop. You can take that out later. I'm No, I'm not taking that out. It's too much work. <laughs> oh, you crazy lazy. Listen, I love Berserk. The Berserk anime, I love. It's just, the starting, how they started was amazing, but my favorite parts was they started going to the story of Guts. What? I, the beginning of Guts, right? The anime. Yeah. The manga. It was, it was a, I liked it, and it was gruesome and beautiful, but it took to a little while. I loved its origin story. Yeah, if you like you like the gruesome and like horrible in the world, so I feel like you would love. Uh, I did. I got addicted to it until I got bored of it because it was too long, and it's ongoing. It's ongoing. It's crazy. I'm really looking for. I I can't find it in this like whole like we should not be on our phones. I don't care about you. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't care about me, bro? I don't How do you not care about me? I mean, uh, it, the Berserk was set in a medieval-inspired dark fantasy world, so maybe inspired by Gots. Go um, on Reddit. That's where you get all the information. Uh, that's I was I was trying to search for Reddit. But so then- on Reddit on the um on the subreddit called Berserk. Mm. So I just watched a documentary about medieval knights, and they started talking about a knight who lost his armor and eventually got it replaced by a prosthetic arm made out of iron. I was like, huh. That reminds me of Gotz. What was this dude's name? Gotz. Pronounced Gotz. So I looked around to see if uh, Miyora might have inspired by Gotz and found something where he said he created Gotz without ever knowing about Gotz. Oh, he, nev- he never knew about no. Gotz? <laughs> no one's going to say that because you want it to be an original piece. I mean, it's fine if you're inspired by a historical figure. Not that it matters, but how do you guys think this is true? Personally, I don't buy it. The fact that he is a medieval knight with a prosthetic arm is unique enough, similar to the character already. But the fact that this guy's name is Guts yeah. totally makes me feel like uh, me, you, or Rod, meaning the author, yeah. must have gotten some sort of inspiration. Of course. Like, like, there's no way he didn't. It's, like, almost impossible. Like... There's no way that he didn't see that as he was searching to, like, make his anime. I don't care about... Or manga, I mean. But this is just amazing. This knight was in wars constantly, constantly, constantly. And this has been Ozzy's Minute into History. Minute into History? Is that what you're going to call your little segment? No, because it's definitely not a minute. It's it's like an hour, bro. (laughs) Well, no, it was actually, like, ten minutes. Oh, beautiful. This has been Ozzy's Weird History. Yeah, Weird History... Oh man, you know what I was doing? What? I was searching up for music to to put on this podcast, although I don't know where to, like, what we should put for the intro. I have one song. You have one song? Is the it, song of my people. It, no, is it, is it, is it, uh, copyright free? Is it? It's copyright free. What's it? What is it? <laughs> oh my fucking God, you idiot. Okay. Uh, Can no. I sing the whole song? No, don't sing the whole song. I'd rather not hear it. No, stop, 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 stop. I need you fuck to stop. Fuck you. Fuck you too. No, that's it. It's just a whole song. Fuck you. Fuck you listen, too. Listen, listen. Fuck you. <laughs> no, no, no. We need like a nice like electronic song or like rock song. We or... could put it on autotune. It'll sound a lot better. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that what you just said? The fart sounds. Oh my God. It might, but like I don't want to. It sound amazing. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> You know the people on Reddit are so nice in the pot in the podcast. So nice. Be so surprised. You know what's my favorite Reddit subreddit? Huh? R New York City R for R. R for R? Meaning that anybody wants to hook up with anybody can search on Reddit for somebody. Are you kidding me? Oh, you want to see it? I feel like there's that that would be just like stalkers and shit in there, like some weird people. Basically. Yeah. I feel like that's like some straight like dangerous shit right there. Oh, very dangerous. But the only reason why they do it is because uh, Red, uh, Craigslist got rid of its uh, personal ads. Personal ads? Yeah. Remember how on Craigslist you could have, find prostitutes? Oh, you could? Yeah. Really? And they got rid of that? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. No, that's smart. Don't have any liability. Yeah, that's true. See? 23 female for R, meaning anybody, I guess. Hi, Reddit friends. NY, hashtag NYC, let's do something tonight. Drinks, question mark. 
Hi, Reddit friends. I'm incredibly bored and looking for some, but it's something fun to do tonight. I'm thinking grab some drinks, slash, and slash, or smoke down. Mainly, just looking for someone to hang with. But if the attraction is there, maybe more smiley face. Message me a bit about yourself. I'll return the favor. Let me see If that. I feel like we vibe. Picks are encouraged. Picks are encouraged. Get the fuck out of here. This was 18 hours ago. Oh, I didn't set it on new. Bro, what are you doing in light mode? I like light mode. Shut up. Light mode is so fucking crazy. It's like insane. It's five hours ago. But it's mainly men looking for men or female. Yeah, of course. Like there's no There's a lot of men for men. Men for men? Yeah. Are you kidding? Like they're secret gays. They're like closet gays that they want to let their families to know. Really? That's interesting. Sometimes you see like a married couple. There was one Reddit post saying, I'm a married guy with kids. I'm uh-huh. looking for another married guy with kids. Uh-huh. So that way we can hook up and keep everything a secret. Bro, just these titles are something else. And hashtag NYC diaper play in NYC. Oh my God. Hashtag NYC looking for a friend who loves to be oh, eaten. There was someone, there was a transvestite uh-huh. looking for somebody. And I didn't know what T stand for. So I was like, oh, okay. I went on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, I see boobs, but what's that little bulge down there? <laughs> and when I looked down, you could see his dick coming up. Oh my god, yo, bro! Uh, hashtag NYC seeking an ongoing oral sub button, bottom, or twink looking to give you regular quick blowjobs, bro. Uh, just make sure it's a guy, say a uh, girl saying it, not a guy. Yeah, I think I think twink is not a girl. I'm not sure. Uh. Uncut searching for uncut. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what they have these. In. I don't know how have what these words mean, bro. Circumcise. Circumcise. Oh, uncut. Oh, looking for uncut. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird, but it's weird. No, sir. <laughs> um, the what is that thing called around the beers and blowjobs? What the fuck? I'm a, the foreskin. It's called the foreskin, right? Uh huh. Is it really called the foreskin? Yeah, it's foreskin. The foreskin is used as a natural lubricant. Oh, is it? Because think of a hot dog, right? Right. And a bun. Yeah. The hot dog slides out of the bun. Okay. Because it's covered by skin. Okay. So it acts like a, so it acts like a lubricant. Okay. Oh, I I, I guess it's a lubric it's a dry lubricant. Wait, but the there's no there's it's a dry lubricant. Yeah. Think about it. Think of a hot dog. Okay. Everyone. Take of a hot dog. <laughs> okay, think about this. You know how when you jack off, your hand is dry? Yeah. But then your skin goes up and down? Yeah. Right? The thing, because of the foreskin, it rubs against on the top of the penis, yeah. and it just comes out. So you're moving that. And so your penis, being under the skin, is safe. Okay. This is dry lubrication. Do you not know anything about sex? No, apparently not. You had more sex than me. Yeah, but like I don't know these things. Like technical terms, I just know how to do it well. Me so horny. <laughs> okay, I don't. That's no bueno. Uh, you gotta leave soon, right? I have to leave soon. Oh God. Uh, what are you leaving for? Don't ask. You already know. I Everyone already... could stay tuned until our next broadcast. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting one. Such an interesting. Well, one. it's it's. I don't know if it's interesting, but like it sure did panic no. us. No, me. It, pan- it panicked you, but like I was, I was panicked for you. You were panicked for me, but we thought of the same thing at the same time. We gotta put this on the broadcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, we did. We we're like, oh, this is too good. This is too good. We have to put this in the podcast, and we have to make it sound good because it is. Ooh, man, you you uh you got real close, bro. That was that was that was a fucked up thing. Shut up. Uh, I went to, I went to Bourne right afterwards. I know. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. I okay, we need a we need a we need to stop talking about it so we don't like uh spoil what's gonna happen. But okay. you know. let me look up another interesting guy in history because I remember there was something else. Do you wanna keep going or do you wanna do of you wanna... course. Just give me like five seconds. I just wanna say something else. Don't you have to leave in like twenty Well screw you. Thirty I minutes. Care. I do. All right, go ahead. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Entertain the people. I'm not entertaining nobody, bro. I'm not entertaining at all. Have you noticed? I'm the one who's always like just uh, silent oh. in these podcasts. Never mind. People of the internet. Yes. I must request that you guys shut up and wait until fucking next time. Why? Because I found something interesting. What? 
What'd you find? Next it? time on <laughs> Therapy with a Psychopath. <laughs> this has been Therapy with a Psychopath. Um, I've been Oz. You, you've been Oz? Okay. I've been Oz. Next week, I may be something else. You oh never my. know. All right, Oz. That's it for today's session. We hope you enjoyed this session of Therapy with a Psychopath. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on all of our platforms. YouTube, CastBox, SoundCloud, Himalaya. And now we're on iTunes and Spotify. We're on freaking every platform. Just search us. You know, you'll find we are us. willing to become sellouts. <laughs> we are sellouts. What are you talking about? All under the name of Therapy with a Psychopath. And... We'll do, Bob. We'll do. And remember to everyone listening at home, there's a little bit of psychopath in all of us. Just don't be a killer. That's my job. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Toodaloo.